Hi, today we're going to be looking at the iLife V5 Pro. In particular, we're going to be looking at how it mops and the water tank here. I have the water tank here. And we'll check out how this navigates with the mop attachment, with the mop attached. This is the mop. This is the microfiber mop here. And to, to use it as a mop, um, switch off the robot first and take out the the dustbin when you take this out um, the robot detects it and shuts shuts off the vacuum motor and yeah, let's flip over the robot and attach attach the mop attach the mop attachment here this is the bracket for the you can see here that there are two holes here this is where the water will drip out of the tank. This is the mop attachment. We'll be attaching the mop here. And then let's open this. Before attaching the water tank, um, I'll be putting in some water here. I'll be using I'll just I'll just be using a little bit of water here. And this is the cover here. Just pop this open and put carefully put in the water here I'm, I must note that you have to plug the two holes underneath here because it will drip there are two holes underneath here and if, if you don't plug it it, it it drips let's attach the, the mop here I'll be testing this for maybe around three or four minutes see how it does on this on this uh, floor and after that, um, I'll give you my closing remarks. I'll just turn the vacuum on, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have the robot ready, and let's turn it on. Now I feel the water tank past the past the half. Um, half full. I, I filled it half full, and let's see how it does. the The motor, the mo vacuum motor, is obviously shut off. And this, in this mode, um, the robot just drags the mop around the floor. It's basically a like a Swiffer but it does it for you now this is this flooring is linoleum so um, it's not really recommended to wet mop this floor but I'm just doing this to test out this robot here but you can you can use cleaning cleaning fluid instead of water there aren't any motor motors that the water will go through so you don't have to worry about that. It just uses gravity to the water just flows down using gravity to the mop. In terms of how it moves this is vastly different from the uh, from the iRobot's um, mopping robot the, the iRobot has a much more much more sophisticated pattern that goes in a scrubbing motion this one just does the same basically does the same cleaning pattern it does in vacuum mode it doesn't really do any scrubbing it, it more of drags the mop over the floor
Okay, I stopped the robot and just want to show you um, the floor here. Um, if you look closely, it's 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 damp here in this part, and the the water slowly drips down um, using gravity on the floor, and the longer you run this thing, uh, this robot the wetter the map will get so let's look at the, the map underneath here let's just remove the this, this water tank here and let's see how the map looks like and you'll see that half of it is wet half of the map is wet here and it has scrubbed off a bit of dirt here and the other half is slightly damp this is the wet part this is the damp part here so there really isn't any um, complex mechanism controlling the water the water just drips down here if you look if you look at the let me just let me just um, show you the, the water tank here if you look at the water tank here the water drips down if you can see this part here is dripping down. It's dripping down over this towel here. I placed a towel here. And the longer you run this robot, the damper or the wetter the, the, the towel will get. So I would run this for max a maximum 45 minutes in a small, really close and closed area um, just to avoid um, um, wetting the floor too much. Well, you can use a cleaning solution that dries fast, um, specially designed for, let's say, tile or or linoleum or hardwood 